Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to create a new calendar, connect your social media accounts, and invite collaborators. From your dashboard, you can create a new calendar by clicking on Add New Calendar. This takes you to the new calendar wizard, dedicated to helping you create a calendar step by step. All settings within this wizard can be updated later in the calendar settings. First, upload a logo image, enter a calendar name, set a time zone, select your industry, and click on Create Calendar and Continue. The time zone of the calendar will define the publishing time of your posts. Here is a quick tip. You can set your account's time zone independently from each calendar's time zone. This is useful if you live in a time zone that is not the same as your calendar's audience. Next, it's time to connect your social media accounts. In a calendar, you can connect one account from each social media platform. If you want to connect multiple accounts from the same social media platform, you can create multiple calendars. In fact, you are free to create as many calendars as you need. A quick tip. When creating a post, you can clone it to multiple calendars, making the process of managing multiple accounts quick and easy. To connect each account, hit the corresponding green Connect button. Once you have connected all your accounts to the calendar, move on to the next step by clicking on the Next button. Then select the approval workflow that best suits your needs. The original workflow is the most comprehensive option with six different post dates. This workflow is best when multiple collaborators typically approve posts. If there is only one collaborator in charge of reviewing and approving posts, we recommend selecting the light workflow, which automatically schedules posts that have been approved. Finally, the zero workflow option lets you skip approval altogether, going from draft to scheduled or published posts in just one click. A quick tip, Loomly also allows you to create custom workflows using assignment triggers and state guards later on from the calendar settings page. In addition, Loomly provides you with inspiration and you can optionally supercharge this feature in two ways. If you connect a Twitter account to your calendar, you can automatically receive post ideas related to Twitter trends based on a location of your choice. You can also plug RSS feeds into your calendar to get even more inspiration, either in the form of post ideas or draft posts, all automatically generated from RSS entries. In the final step of the calendar creation process, you can invite one or more collaborators. Collaborators will only have access to the calendars you invite them to, and you can invite collaborators to one or several calendars as you see fit. Each unique person you invite counts as one collaborator in your plan. Of course, when you invite the same person to multiple calendars, they will only count as one user in your plan. You should now be ready to create your first post by clicking on the green New Post button at the top right of the screen. Whenever you need to edit your calendar settings, just click on the gray calendar settings icon from your calendar toolbar. Here are some settings you can adjust for each calendar. In the Options tab, update the default view to List View or Calendar View. Change the default sorting order of your post in List View and turn on and off your loom.ly URL shortener. In the Roles tab, create and edit custom roles. In the Slots tab, create scheduling slots based off your preferred posting schedule. In the Workflow tab, build a custom workflow by defining assignment triggers and state guards. Now let's take a look at the different views of your calendar. This is List View. Inspired by the spreadsheet layout we all know, it shows a detailed summary of your posts, featuring plenty of information, such as date and time, subject, copy format, state and assignees, as well as comments if there are any. You can interact with all your posts from this view, updating state and assignment or leaving comments. Or you can access post view for even more details on a specific post. On the flip side, Calendar View was designed with planning in mind and offers a higher level overview of your posts for the month. Here you can drag and drop posts to another date, create quick posts, and ungroup existing posts to reveal any fine-tuned channel variations. All Calendars View, which can be viewed in List View or Calendar View, provides an overview of all posts from all calendars in one place. 
Last but not least, when you need content inspiration, Post Ideas View brings you events and holidays based on the day of the year and allows you to create your own custom post ideas, which can be recurring or not. Loomly's advanced analytics allows you to dive deep into the performance of all the posts in your calendar, whether they're published via Loomly or not. Monitoring metrics related to your account and posts, including engagement, reach, likes, and many more, lets us understand which posts perform the best and use those insights to continually improve your posts day after day. You can also filter date ranges and filter your post metrics table by labels. Advanced analytics can be enabled as soon as your team has created five posts in Loomly. Finally, Interactions empowers you to keep your social presence in check and engage with your community by replying to their comments, messages, and taggings. Whenever a new interaction is pending your reply, a notification pops up in your toolbar. You can assign each interaction individually or collectively into states, assign collaborations to a specific interaction, and create saved replies. And that's it. You should be ready to create your first calendar with Loomly. Log into your dashboard now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team either through our chat or via email at contact at Thanks for watching this tutorial.